By popular demand, we have now added the ability to add contacts directly to hit him up. Let me show you how to do that now. Let's pick a group like Apple employees, tap on view list in the upper right corner, and there's a button now that says plus new contact. This is the fastest way to add a contact directly to a group. Tap add new contact and up will pop this little modal that will allow us to create a contact. So we're going to add a first name, a last name, and a phone number to contact this person at. There we go. Now we can also push this little tags button here and even add a company tag if we wanted to or a birthday or any other piece of information we think we should. So I'll just add Apple here. So that's pretty cool. We can also choose to store this back to our iPhone, iPad, or other contact book of our device that we're on by pushing this toggle here and flipping that on. Or if you want the contact to just stay and hit him up, keep it off. So that's totally up to you. We're going to click add contact to recipients. And there's Henry Smith. To edit a contact, once we've already created it, we can swipe on the contact and push edit. And this will show us the picture that's stored on our contact book. It will show us the groups that they're in. We can add Henry to other groups as well. So maybe we want to add him to our real estate buyer group and my congregation. Tap save. And to set these groups to the contact and the changes that we've made, you can tap save here. Let's also add another tag to this person, such as birthday. And we can set the birthday to Friday, October 22nd or Sunday, October 24th, whatever, just an example. So that's how we can edit a contact. I'll tap save to commit those saved changes. And if I go back to Henry and I click on one of the other groups that he's in, like real estate buyers, we can quickly jump and see that Henry is now in that group as well. I'll go back to Apple employees. Now let's say we see a phone number that we're sending to here that we don't really want to send to. Like Tim Cook here, I see it's sending to the wrong number. I can push the edit button and choose the number which it's being sent to. So by default, it will pick the iPhone, but it can also dynamically switch to any other destination you want to send to. So I'll push mobile, tap save, and you'll see that it updated the phone number which it's being sent to. So that's modifying contacts in hit em up. You can also update contacts directly in your contact book. So that's in your Apple contacts, 